today's workout we have four rounds of time a thousand meter on the bike 10 bench press at 50 kilo then uh, five clean and jerks at 60 kilo uh, so this particular workout uh, just really hitting weaknesses uh, movements that I haven't been able to do over the last few months um, a lot of my training uh, for the next couple of months is going to be exactly that um, just really focusing on um, hitting those weaknesses and movements um, that I haven't been able to do. Uh, that is the best way, in my view, uh, on how to improve and how to um, keep moving forward is to really hammer in the, uh, the weaknesses while still touching on your strengths as well. Um, and I have been doing a lot of uh, conditioning, so a lot of uh, work on the ergs, um, and we'll continue to do that, um, and, but still sprinkle uh, that stuff in uh, to my workouts as well. So still touching on those um, uh, strengths. Um, with the workout today, it's all uh, bar work. Uh, again, hitting on the point of really uh, doing on, uh, working on the things that I haven't been able to do as yet. So uh, we'll see how we go. Um, probably gonna have to break up the bench press I feel uh, even though it's a low weight and with sort of medium sort of reps I just haven't been uh, able to do uh, any pressing um, like chest work um, been doing a fair bit of shoulder work but um, not so much chest uh, due to the injury that I had so probably gonna have to break that up uh, definitely doing uh, singles on the cleaning jerks um, the, the legs this week uh, have just gotten absolutely smashed so uh, a little bit uh, fatigued through there so just gonna stick with the singles and see how we go here we go
All right. I just want to quickly go over um, uh, what I have to do over the next, uh, well, probably quite a few months, uh, sort of six to nine months. Um, none of it's gonna be sexy. Um, it's all uh, absolutely necessary and what I have to do to progress uh, and keep moving forward uh, with my my fitness and my health, my strength, um, and just getting my body back to uh, back to where it was sort of before COVID, uh, where I was you know uh, traveling pretty well. Um, so that's that's my intent, my goal. Uh, is to really put in the hard work, do all the things that are necessary uh, to, to get me back to that place. Um, so a lot of these workouts are gonna be uh, basically that, just hard work, really hitting the, the weaknesses hard, uh, stuff that I am not great at, stuff that's gonna make me look very unfit and very weak, uh, which I'm fine with. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, using these videos uh, myself as well. Um, to make sure that I stay on the right path. Um, you know, I have fallen into a trap before, uh, very early on when I uh, sort of first uh, was started to get serious about CrossFit in only doing the, the, the sexy or the cool, cool workouts, uh, the things that make you look good, you know, only sort of training your, uh, your strengths. Uh, and what that led to was uh, big holes in my overall um, uh, attributes I guess um, or performances um, and uh, for in the long term it led to a lot of injuries as well so um, trying to stay away from that um, I think that comes with experience I've um, been doing this for a little bit now since uh, 2009 um, learn, a, learn a few things along the way um, and, and that is you know, a big part of it just being consistent um, with um, really training your weaknesses uh, and being smart with it as well. So again, none, none of these workouts over the next couple of months are gonna be sexy, um, but just hard work. So uh, actually looking forward to it. So we'll uh, leave it there and we'll hit it hard on the next one. Till next one.